Welcome back to English Town Pronunciation Course. I'm Zach. Now, you all probably know your simple past pretty well. The rule of thumb is usually to add ed to the ending verbs of conjugation. And that might be a bit too difficult when translating to speech. How do we know which ed endings sound like what? Let's give some examples for you to understand a little bit more. There are three main ways to pronounce this ed ending. The first one, when a word is finished with the letter t or d, we add ed and pronounce it ed. The word want becomes wanted. Decide, decided. However, when the word is finished with a voiceless consonant, then we add the sound t. For example, if the word is finished with ch, like the word watch, then we can say watched, watched. You see how I add that at the end? T. Another example, sh for the word wash. Wash becomes washed, washed. How about the sound s in the word kiss? Kiss becomes kissed, kissed. For the sound x, like in the word fix, fix becomes fixed, fixed. That's very difficult, but bear with me. With practice, it becomes easier. And for the pronunciation tip of the day, do you remember how to find if a sound is voiceless or not? All right, well, let's recap what that is. A voiceless sound is when the voice here, the throat, is not being used to create a sound. For example, k, k. is that voiceless or is it voiced? I'm not using my voice, so it is voiceless. In this case, the word look becomes looked, looked. What other letters are voiceless? P, p. So a word like reap becomes reaped, reaped. When it comes to a voiced ending of a word, then we do the same thing. We voice the ed. D, d. So a word like play becomes played, played. Enjoy, enjoyed, enjoyed. What about something with the letter n? n. So Clean becomes cleaned, cleaned. Good job. Plan, planned, planned. Don't forget your double ends. How about R? Offer becomes offered, offer, offered. All right, good job. Let's practice some words. Can you tell which ending am I using? Is it voiced or unvoiced? Id, ed, or t. Let's try. Booked, booked. That's right, I'm using the unvoiced ending. Book. Is unvoiced. So here we're gonna add t, t sound, the unvoiced one. What about open? Open. Mm. Is that voiced? That's right. So here we're gonna add ed and say opened. Open.
happened? What about chase? Chase. Hmm. Is that voiced or unvoiced? Ah, that's right. Chased. Chased. It's unvoiced, so we're gonna add the unvoiced sound. T -t Chased. Good job, everybody. What time is it? That's right, it's sentence time. Let's keep up with Zach. First of all, I brushed my teeth after I kissed my girlfriend. I brushed my teeth after I kissed my girlfriend. I brushed my teeth after I kissed my girlfriend. Yesterday, we exercised and played badminton. Yesterday, we exercised and played badminton. Yesterday, we exercised and played badminton. I vomited when I saw my beloved brother naked. I vomited when I saw my beloved brother naked. I applaud you guys for keeping up with me. Today was a very interesting lesson and I hope it stays with you as it stayed with me. Practice makes perfect. See you next time. When I saw my beloved naked brother naked, naked what? <laughs> My naked brother, naked. <laughs>